This video is one of a series numbered 1 to 8, which cover the basic concepts of the primary mathematics curriculum. It takes a bit of effort to make dice. Um, so why, why should a teacher bother making dice? Well, apart from being a wonderfully versatile um, aid, they're great fun for the children to use and the children love to use them. There are lots and lots of games that you can play with dice. And when you're playing a game, it's a way of practicing mathematics ideas over and over again without the children actually realizing that they're doing that because they're playing a game. And they don't realize what they're doing. So we've got different dice with different things on. I'm gonna have a look at some ways of using them. Uh, first one, we've got a hundred square um, and we're going to use some digit cubes. Now, the red digit cubes have got the larger numbers on. So you've got six, seven, eight, nine and then two zeros um, in the blank squares. And then the black numbers are one to five again with a zero. Um, if you take four of the red um, digit dice and you take four of the black ones, then you can actually use these um, to make any number from zero to 9,999. So you can use them a bit like flashcards, you can use them a bit like the place value cards, um, you can use them, you can ask the children to make a number, um, you can then ask them, okay, I want you to add 10 to that number now, so I'm going to add 10, so I'm going to change the 7 to an 8, uh, I can rearrange it to make the biggest number possible, all sorts of ways that you can use these. So just by having a set of 8 dice, they can make a whole range of numbers and using them like this. You can play a game on the 100 square. So you could take, again, depending on the level, the challenge you want for the children. But here I'm going to take um, two black ones and two red ones. So two of the lower numbers, two of the upper numbers. And then we throw them. Now, I've thrown an 8, an 8, a 1 and a 0. And the first game that we're going to play is I'm going to make as many different combinations as I can. So I'm going to, I can use addition. I can use subtraction, I can use multiplication, and I can use division. So I'm going to start off just by adding, first of all. I'm going to say 8 and 8 is 16, and then I'm going to add one that makes 17, and the 0 is going to keep it at 17. So I'm going to put a counter on 17. Okay. Don't change the numbers. You use these numbers to make as many different ones as you can. So this time I'm going to do 8 and 8 again, which is 16, but I'm going to subtract the 1. So I've now made... Um, 15 and put a counter on 15. I'm going to say 8 times 8 is 64 plus 1 makes 65 and put a counter on 65. Here I'm going to do 8 divided by 8 is 1 and then I'm going to add 1 which will make 2. I put a counter on 2. Here I'm going to say 8 divided by 8 is 1 and I'm going to take away one, and I've made zero. So you then talk to the children and say, well, okay, I haven't got zero on it, where would zero be? And they can see what, see what they say. But you could say, okay, well, it becomes before one, I can put it there. Or maybe, does it go there? So try and make the children to think, yeah? Okay, so I think you get the idea. You can use the dice in as many different ways as you can. Um, you can play four in a row, so another person then has a go. So I recommend this, that you would play this in pairs or threes, in teams, in groups, so that the children can discuss together. And then another team will come and they can have different coloured bottle tops and you can use the same board. If you don't have different coloured bottle tops, then you can just use bottle tops and have one group playing with the bottle tops the right way up, another group playing with the bottle tops upside down. You can hold whole different um, range of games that you can play. Okay, this resource looks fantastic. It's a lovely silvery piece of paper, but you can see it's actually been made from, this is a milk bag, um, a bag that's used to store milk. So like a milk carton, but it's a foil based bag. Um, it's basically plastic, so it will last a long time and it's very easy to clean. Grid lines have been drawn using permanent marker pen. Okay, with the 100 square, you can play um, a game using the dotty dice as well. 
So again, you can take, depending on the level of the children, you can take one, two, three, four dice. So I'm going to use three. So you throw them. And this time I'm going to choose only one number that I'm going to put the um, bottle top on. So I can add, I can subtract, I can divide, I can multiply. So for example, I could do one and five make six. Take away three, I could put one on three. Um, I could do three times five is 15. I could add one and make 16 or take away one and make 14. So I'm going to go with three times five is 15. Add one makes 16 and I'm going to choose 16 for my first counter. Now the other team will play and they will throw. So let's say I'm representing the other team now um, and they've thrown five four and another five so they could say okay i'm going to do five and five makes ten and four makes fourteen or they could say right i'm going to do five times five is twenty five twenty five times four is a hundred so they could put a counter on a hundred but this game we're trying to play the first of four in a row so probably what they're going to want to try and do is to see well how can they stop me yeah, how can they block me? So they're going to want to put a number around here. So maybe 5 and 5 makes 10 plus 4 makes 14. So maybe they're going to put their counter on 14. OK, so now it's my turn again or my team. And we throw and this time I've thrown 5, 2 and 1. So I want to try, if I can, to make one of the numbers around my original counter. So five times two is 10 and one makes 11. Well, I'm over here, I might influence them, but I'll see if I can do better than that. Five and two um, is seven and one makes um, eight. Mm, that's a bit too far away. So what about five and two is seven? Take away one is six. Ah, now that's a good move because I've now got two in a row. So my partner, the other team, they're going to be trying to block me if they can here. Because next time I'm going to be looking to see if I get 26. So you keep playing and then the first team to make four in a row are winners. More detail about the resources in this video and others can be found in this booklet, Numeracy for All, Resources for Teaching Mathematics. A guide for teachers and trainers on how to make and use low cost or no cost teaching and learning aids to encourage active and playful learning for maths in the classroom. Okay, let's go and teach some maths. These videos are from a partnership between VSO International and the MESH Initiative. Both organisations have a commitment to share knowledge freely around the world for the benefit of teachers and learners. Yeah.